Hey guys, welcome back to my world of splendid isolation in the future that I am calling Minecraft. Post for them. Well, I, I'm not calling it. Landstrider is calling it that. Uh, where we left off last time was I'd been building this lovely little space up here. And we had just managed to make the alloy smelter. Uh, if we have a look in here, we've been working down through this sort of area here. Uh, round here, I've been rearranging. I used to have a couple of furnaces here. I put a sterling generator here now and started connecting it up with some energy conduits back here. Mainly so I could run the alloy smelter as we were talking. Uh... But I thought this would be a brilliant place to start doing some of this line here. Like this alternative power. I think this is something that we could definitely uh, get our teeth into here. Whilst, as I say, we're rearranging the little uh, tech area that we have back there. So, the Ever Nation Dynamo. En Innovation Dynamo. I've not even looked at this yet. I was just uh, having a look around and seeing what I think would be the best thing to get going with. And I think this is the best thing to get going with. Uh, let, let's just try dyna Dynamo. Uh, there we go. Right. Steam, magnetic, compression, re reactant. Yep, Everation. Okay, what have we got here? We need to make some Electrum, which I think we should be able to. Electrum gears. Oh, wow. Redstone transmission coil. Okay, we're going to start with this transmission coil. We need silver. Which I should have. No, tin, tin, tin. Many tins. Ah, and this is why we need the energy. Okay, I'm going to have to move this sterling generator back. I thought it would be good and put it there early, but no, we need to, to do it like this. Okay, so we'll pop that there. I don't have anything to burn on me. Go. What else do we need while we're doing that? I need some redstone. And that makes our trans uh, transmission coil. Yep, okay. Uh, we then need to make a whole load of electrum, which thankfully is just... Oh, look, we can make it straight out of the synthesis machine here. Okay, we'll do that that way. I was going to use our alloy smelter back here to make it, uh, but it turns out we can do it straight from here. It should then just chuck us out a whole load of electrum. Uh, the power is still an issue. Okay, that's all the electrum I think we need. So we're going to need to make two of these things, the Electrum gear, uh, and then I believe it's that one there, these two, one here, one here, uh, this like this, and I can't remember what goes on the underside, a bit of redstone of course it is, which I didn't actually get out of my box. Da -na -na -na. Okay, brilliant, that gives us this reward here, which actually gives us some energy conduit, which is something that I wanted to have back here, you can see we only got the four bits from, uh, from the last quest that gave us this stuff. I can't, re I can't remember even which which reward gave us that. It was the binder composite, I think. Uh, what are we going to choose? I'm going to go for more of these energy conduits because that, that was actually pretty difficult to get a hold of. It's a shame that it didn't actually let us have any of the ender conduits, the the item stuff. Uh, this one. This, this, this is the one I'm working on, really. Uh, Okay, so now that you have some basic power, you may want to increase its efficiency so you don't have to fuel it quite as often. Uh, yeah, that, that would possibly be a thing that I want to do here. Uh, the thing that I'm thinking about is, do I actually want this here like this? I don't know, it looks a little bit naff, doesn't it? If we Can I break it with that? It, that, that seems to take forever. Uh, am I going to break? Ooh, that, that was scary. That was scary. I thought I was going to break it to never get it back. If I do this instead, yeah, that, that actually looks like a bit of freeform sculpture there. Okay, brilliant. And then we're going to put this one over here. I'd like to put an energy cell here. Actually, no, that's not what I'd like to put there. I would like to put a furnace there. Not an alloy smelter, but an actual um, redstone-powered furnace. That... That unfortunately is not actually part of our quest line here. I don't. I don't think. Let me. Just, let me just double check. Uh, no, no, no. There, there is nowhere here that wants us just to make a redstone furnace. Uh, but it is something that we can make. Uh, you know, for fun in our own time. Let's have a look and see what else we can actually get on with doing. Uh, I wanted to make these, didn't I? Of course, double layer capacitors. Let's see what we got here. So I need to so make a couple of industrial ones, which take this stuff. Oh wow! Should have put this into my book. Well, that was useful. Okay, let's try and figure out what we can put in here. That's probably going to be the hardest bit. It's the lazurite. Uh, let's see if, if, in fact, my book can make lazurite. Oh, no, it doesn't look like I can make lazurite here. Okay, so we're going to do this uh, piecemeal, I suppose. We're going to figure out how to make the lazurite and then work back from there. Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, saying that, it is full of stuff. Quick spot of pumpkin farming. All right, let's see how this powers. I presume it's going to be a bit of coal? No, innovation. What does this use? Uh, control status ignored. Okay, augmentation. It comes with a bit of augmentation already. Uh, it's not producing any RF. Extracts redstone flux directly from natural so uh, sources or objects stored within it. Generation. Okay, so let's try putting some redstone in there. 
Okay, this is good. Uh, I think. I'm not sure exactly what it's doing. Is it pumping up this stuff? There is power going in here, and there is power going in here. Actually, quite a lot of power going in there. So, uh, I have uh, queued up this recipe. Oh, look, we've got some stuff. That, uh, polymethyl methylate. <laughs> yeah, we've got some of this stuff anyway in here already. So, uh, I've been queuing this up. Ten of them might be a good idea. Okay, so... First things first, put it in the chemist journal so that we know how to make it for later. Because I had to queue all this up by hand. Always awkward. Okay, the next thing on lazurite, sulfate ions. Oh, we made a lot of those, but that should do fine. And once again, straight to the chemist journal with it. Though I think maybe sulfate ions we could have made off the top of our head. SO4, easy enough. Uh, and the next thing should actually be putting this all together. So let's have a look. Uh, we want to take this out. We want to... Oh, I've not actually got it in here uh, laid up as it is, have we? It's getting hot here as well. Woo! Uh, it is Na nepheline sulfate. Okay, so I don't I don't have any so, uh, sodium. Oh, we're actually running out of sodium. Uh, okay, we'll have to do something about that. I want to put one of them back just so I know where they belong. All right, lazurite. Bam! We can make seven. It's not not really what I was hoping for. I was trying to go for a stack maybe of lazurite. That would have been great. But it's what we're stuck with, so we're going to have to deal with it. Uh, I am overheating, so I'm going to go do the thing that I normally do when I'm overheating. It's come down here and have a quick dip in the pond. I mean, why wouldn't I? Hello, what's, what's this over here? Hey, no, I can't. I can't get some oxygen there. That, that, that's a shame. Would have been nice to be able to get some oxygen and keep cool at the same time. Uh, checking my temperature on the bottom left, uh, thirty-eight degrees. Wow, thirty-six is uh, body temperature for those of you using the Fahrenheit scale. I, I don't know what's wrong with you people. Uh, why would you want Fahrenheit? Uh, that, that whilst we're on this kind of subject, almost every time when people go, oh, you know, it's for the human body temperature because the degrees are smaller, so you get more accuracy. I'm like, have you ever heard of a decimal point, people? I just a point one of a Celsius is smaller than a Fahrenheit. You know, you know. Anyway, there we, there we go. There's my little rant over. You know what? I'm going to break this torch here just so I can uh, walk around with it in my inventory rather than having to deal with it. Though I have a feeling it's actually this thing making me hot. Though, wow, look at the power that is pumping out of here. Just for next to no no redstone, actually. In fact, I'm not sure. How much does this give us? Do we, can, we, can we see? 80 per tick? That's nice. That's nice. Doesn't tell me how long they last for. Right, anyway, what were we doing? We were doing lazurite, and we needed to make the lazurite. I believe we have indeed made the lazurite. Okay, the next thing we wanted to make was these. These are the th bits we're going to work on now. So if I put this here, let's see what we're missing to make this happen. We need some copper. We need some aluminium and silicon. No, we just need the aluminium. Surely a stack will keep us happy, right? Two stacks of copper and a stack of cellulose. That should now give us everything we need. Uh, for one, uh, we need to make more of this stuff, which is unfortunate because I'm not sure exactly how to go about making it. Ta-da! There's lots of these. How do I make lots of these? So there's the methyl. Need a, a load of those. Would you believe we're running out of hydrogen? Hilarious. Most abundant element in the universe, and we are running out. I mean, I know there's lots around, and we can do stuff about that. Uh, but, yeah, it's just a bit funny to me. Uh, let's put that in there. Let's see how many of these we can make. Ten? Uh, it's getting better. It's getting better. This might be able to make a uh, fair few of these polymethyl... What's it? Um, polymethyl methacryolate? Cryolate? Isn't that the stuff that they make um, uh, super glue out of? Cryolate? Uh, as acryolate or whatever it is? I I'm terrible at names. Okay, so we went and made a whole load of that. Uh, hopefully now we can make a whole load of these because, wow, that took a lot of run up there. <laughs> Ah, a lot of work just for two. Uh, all right, I'm going to take a few seconds out to make a, a whole load of these off of camera because uh, you don't want to watch these jump cuts all over again. Whilst I'm tidying up, I would just like to say that we have two new elements to welcome to the periodic table. I was breaking down a little bit of um, andesite and we got gallium arsenide, which I then broke down into gallium and arsenic. Woo! Okay, so we are filling up quite well here. <laughs> Oh man, I feel so stupid and I bet you guys spotted it well early on. So I spent all that time, like three minutes of video, making these capacitors. But of course, what's the end goal here? What is the end goal here? The double... Oh, hello. It's not in here. What, what's going on there? The uh, double layer capacity, uh, capacitor is the, our end goal here. And it's not these that we need, it's these things. And what's, what's in the box? 
We've got to. We've got loads. I was just like, ah, I feel so stupid. And I know you guys would have spotted it well early on. Okay, so we need some coal powder, charcoal powder as well. Uh, and now I do believe we're going to get to use the uh, alloy furnace for the first time. Yeah, pulverized coal, coal powder. Ooh, it might not be the right stuff. Anyway, this energetic alloy. We need redstone. Glowstone dust and gold ingot. Now I know what you're thinking. You don't have any glowstone dust, and I'm just going to double check to make sure that I actually do not have any glowstone dust here. No, I don't. But somewhere along the line, I've managed to pick up three bits of phosphorus. Now I don't know where they have come from. I'm, I'm honestly totally at a loss. But this is the only way. Was it there? The only way you can actually get glowstone, as far as I can tell. Obviously, we could go for a trip to the Nether. That might be on the cards at some point. That might very well be on the cards at some point. But at the, at the moment, we're just going to do this. Now, I also wanted two bits of redstone, which I think are handily con uh, concealed here. And then we've got the gold itself. Okay, brilliant. So let's come around here and use our alloy furnace for the first time. Now, we want to make sure we don't get this wrong. So I'm going to put two of these here, two of these here, and two of these here. Uh, always active. Fit. Ooh, it's going, it's going. We're at 16, 18, 22. It's going pretty fast, actually. A lot faster than I thought it was going to go. The real question I have got, of course, is how much are we going to get out of it in the end? Um, yeah, I got a little bit worried there. I'm just like, why is there only one bit of glowstone? Uh, but of course, it would have taken it for making, right? Uh, I hope so, anyway. Where's the other bits gone? I'm sure we had more bits somewhere. What happened? Yeah, no, that they, these are a bit... Ooh, that really worried me. Really worried me. But the thing that does actually worry me is I was kind of hoping we'd get a little bit more than this. So we are going to have to go. Okay, let's just see what we get here then. Wish me luck, guys. It's been disabled. I thought this was the case. I, I, I believed I had read somewhere that this was what had gone on. No. Okay, well, there we go. That's pretty. That's pretty conclusive there. Which, of course, leaves us with somewhat of a predicament and only one solution that I can think of that we are really going to have to go and do. Now, this is a solution I've been trying to avoid. Uh, we are, of course, trying to get hold of glowstone. The only real, real way I can think about doing it around here is uh, by capturing witches. Now, my original thought was to use the safari net. Uh, which was quite cheap. It was only some slime and stuff like that, and then we could put it in an auto spawner. The problem with the auto spawner is like, what's this Z Logic controller? What's this Slice and Spice? The, this Solarium, the Silicon. These are all things I do not know how to get hold of or even how to make. My next thought was maybe one of these powered spawners, but again, we've got this Franken Zombie, some uh, some heads, uh, the, the, like all sorts of things. What's a Soul Binder? Where'd you get that from? I don't know. So. We're going to have to do something that is a bit vanilla -y. Uh Do you like my front garden, by the way? I've put a little dirt path in here. Uh, I'm not overly sold on this dirt cobblestone mix. Uh, like I, I saw that you could just mix your dirt and cobblestone. You put them together in your in your um, crafting bench and you get this dirty cobblestone. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that would be great. But I'm, I'm not sold on this dirting on the inside here. It's just a bit, bit flat. Uh, another thing that I've done, let's uh, go, yeah, this way. Uh, this way is brilliant. You see, we've got a little bit of a bridge going there uh, and made this a bit more of a cavey entrance. I've also made a bit of a front entrance on this. I, I think this looks amazing. Um, that looks a lot better than this bridge does, though this was trying to work out how to throw some slabs across a span because you could only throw these slabs. Let's see if the uh, cobblestone will oblige and show me. A little bit out. It really doesn't go far at all. So that that, that was a bit of a, a worry. Uh, but thankfully I found this whole bracing structure that is uh, going to be useful. What is it going to be useful for? Well, it's going to be useful over here because it's about time we built ourselves a dark spawner. As I say, I've been trying to avoid this for a little while. Uh, it is very vanilla thinking. Um, now, obviously we're going to need some great big platforms here. If I play on my way up here... You can see we're going for a four chunk setup, so th this should be nice, but we're going to have trouble with the platforms. Thankfully, the diagonal is a very um, very nice property of this game, or well, this this particular thing. Normally, these would have fallen down here. If I just take another one off, off of this side, like, no matter how far we go out, that one's all right. This one? So there's two. But you can see already on the diagonal, we've gone out to, to the third one over there, and I could just carry on putting out, and I reckon... If we just carry on like this, we can then extend a massive platform off it. So we're going to have sort of diagonal struts. 
Anyway, enough of my waffling. This video's starting to get on a little bit already, so let's uh, let's get on with a little bit of a building time lapse. a bit more work than I was expecting. 24 hours later in the real world, I have finally finished... Well, I think we finished it completely. There are a few finishing touches and oh my god cobble so much cobble i really wish i'd thought about replacing that maybe these with uh, factory blocks or something like that now this generally does work let's go up and, and have a look at the mechanics of this all you can see we've got a little drop shaft here oh hello how you doing there mr creeper he has spawned somewhere that i did not want him to spawn i'm sure we can deal with that though uh let yeah let's let's go and have a look up top we have a simple redstone timer. Now, this is not like a normal redstone timer. It's not like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Repeaters and torches and things like that. Oh, look, they're all, they're all trying to follow me underneath. It's one of these red net timers. And th these are great. These are like super customizable. You can set however long I want it to go for. And then these are going out, uh, basically toggling over here. Let's, let's try and make our way in without breaking everything. I don't know if we can do that, but we're going to try. I could do with some cobble on my bar instead. That would probably do us good there. All right, let's figure out where we're going to go in here. Uh, maybe maybe here. It's all about trying to add blocks into places where I'm not going to kill myself. Oh, no, it was green through that. I thought I saw a creeper just st standing around. Okay, now, if we take this block out, we should be able to see. Okay, great. Let's kill these guys. So you can see there's water. Oh, wow. Okay, this might not have been the best place to put that. Uh, let's think about it a bit more. So you can see there's water flowing. Uh, and for some reason, it doesn't actually appear to be flowing straight. It normally does. That must have been when uh, everything got sort. Must have been when I took the block out. It uh, disrupted the flow. Let's try and get actually in there now. So we just have a stand. Oh, oh, this is bad. This is very bad. So we just have a standard spawning space, right? Let's go and have a look over the other side. And I'll fix this. Uh, with a load of um, droppers kind of flowing everything to the middle, there appears to be a dead zone over there. That's no good. Dead zones are bad. Uh, and then it pushes them all towards this great big hole here, where they all fall down and die. Hey, bye. Um, I put the, the standard trapdoors and signs around so that they don't know really what's going on. Now, the vast majority of today, of this time, sorry, oh, I'm going to have to turn this top timer off. Uh, the vast majority of building this was spent trying to make the floor stay still. Uh, because, if we have a look underneath, we'll just get here. So as you can see, we need little cross bracings everywhere. And I really do mean everywhere. It was um, quite a job to try and get this where it needed to be. Uh, right, let's have a look through here. Look, you can see that all these cross bracings are going to been blown away here. So this is going to be our, our top priority now. So 
So yeah, that, that's how that works. We do, of course, have a few other issues with this spawner. Uh, because it is a dark spawner, let's try and get down this way. Um, because it's a dark spawner, we have a few problems with, I don't know, say the caves underneath us. Uh, this is quite a large and expansive cave system that I didn't really realise was down here when we started uh, making all the stuff around here. So at some point we're going to have to go caving. That is, oh, no big thing as long as I don't kill myself through full damage. The reason it is no big thing is if we come over towards our project chest here. We've got all these torches ready to go caving with, uh, which which should be great fun. Now, a little problem that I did have here. I would like to put this here so that they cannot get out and get me. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to be collecting the goods from in there. Uh, at the moment, I'm thinking hoppers would be great, uh, but that's because I don't know what like sucking system there is in this mod pack so i don't know maybe there'll be vacuum hoppers maybe there'll be obsidian pipes i, I, I just don't know what the one to do is right so anyway oh, i am gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this building adventure i will see you next time where i'm at least gonna start with a whole load of caving we're gonna go down we're gonna find out what is actually underneath me here and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this for the first time ever. If you're the type of person that has made it all the way to the end of this shambolic video, I'm guessing you uh, are quite enamoured with the things that I do here. And if you would like to support my channel and kind of become part of the community that I'm building around here, uh, I would invite you to go and have a look at my Patreon page. We, we have a, a few Patreons at the moment, and we're just starting to get a Minecraft 1.9 realm on the go. So if that sounds like something you would like to get involved in, please do go across to my Patreon, get yourself signed up. Literally any amount will get you on the whitelist. Uh, you will be whitelisted at the end of the month when the first payment goes through. But anyway, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time when we're going to do some caving. Bye!